Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, yes, this is in color. No, this isn't the second part of the related video. Um, but it is news day. Uh, it's also a travel day. Um, we leave for Pittsburgh again. And about... Four hours. Um... So let's get on to the news. Let's see. Um, in creepy, creepy little off the wall news here, um, it would seem that Canada is trying to spy on us. Are they doing this with Canadian coins with tracking, little radio frequency tracking bits in them? Which is just laughable, really. I mean... Let's see, what else here? Blah, 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 blah. Oh yes, uh, there was a, a scorpion found on a plane. Scorpions on a plane! Um that stung uh, Mr. David Sullivan on the back of his right leg, just below the knee, then crawled up and down his left leg, he thinks, before getting him again in the shin. I kind of want to know why there was a scorpion on the plane to begin with. <sighs> um, he was on a United Airlines flight going from San Francisco to Vermont, it seems. Um, I'm not sure exactly how the scorpion was on there. doesn't say. Anything else? Oh, yeah, um... Rebels say they've moved Bin Laden to a safe place. Means nothing. There's a walrus that can do sit-ups. Oh, the editor of PC World was murdered, it seems. Well, no murdered, it just says slain. That sounds like murdered to me, though. Oh, fatally shot. Yeah, that sounds like slain. In a drug-related attack, Rex Ferenc, senior technical editor of PC World. <laughs> okay, what else, what else, what else? Burr, 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 burr. Oh, apparently there was an abandoned typewriter found at a Walmart. Um, an, an electric typewriter, not one of the big old ones. Um, it wasn't even in the Walmart. It's outside of a Walmart, concealed in a black case. <sighs> and the Walmart was evacuated because they thought it was a bomb. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, the bomb squad came to to do the thing, they got their robot to blow the the thing open. Most the bomb squad didn't know what the fuck it was. They had to get the fire chief to tell them what the hell it was. Uh hmm.
Um, well, this looks interesting. Suspect in Syracuse, apparently, uh, tried to, I would assume New York, not Greece, um, tried to escape from a, a police car by, by jumping out of a moving, the moving car. Um, what did he do? 33-year-old Brian Valentino of East James Street in Syracuse was being transported by... Manlius, police to the Justice Center jail around 11.15 a.m. Police say he unbuckled his seatbelt, kicked out the rear passenger side window, and lunged headfirst out of the moving car. Uh, he then proceeded to hide in the sheriff's office. Stupid ass man. Oh, Barry Bonds failed a doping test. Um, it seems that he didn't, or well, he might have quit steroids, but the reason he lost all that weight was, <laughs> he started taking amphetamines. Um. Huh. <sighs> Let's see. On Fox News, the top video is, this should give you an idea of how wonderful our culture is, the top video is about a cat that it was so damn fat it got its ass stuck in a doggy door trying to search for food. I'm not even going to look at that. Um, study finds one in ten schools are failing to teach pupils basic reading, writing, and math skills. So that's like, what, half of the schools ever? Uh... <laughs> Man wins 700,000 pounds of compen... Uh, British pounds. In compensation after getting sick from an ex-parrot in pet shop. He wasn't just sleeping. Um. Oh! Posters comparing people with learning disabilities to animals go up around Britain. A charity put them up. That, that seems interesting enough to click on. Um. Oh god. So basically these posters are comparing retarded people, people with downs, with autism, people that are just mentally retarded, to pets. Worst thing, they're not even getting criticized by anybody defending the retarded kids. They're being criticized by fucking animal rights groups. Which means that it's the pets that were offended. <laughs> 